This year, we've seen some minis that are quiet, power efficient, yet still perform great. This one falls into that category. Raytan is launching their own mini PC line this month and wanted my opinion. So they loan me a couple of units. Today, we're looking at the mid-range TR5. It's about NUX sized and features a Ryzen 5 5600U. All these mini PCs come pre-configured and are available in three different flavors. In the box is a smallish power supply, monitor mount, and screws, user guide, long and short HDMI cable. The ports on this mini PC are the essentials, audio jack, triple USB 3 with one being USB-C, a micro SD card reader on the side, dual USB 3, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, and dual HDMI on the back. All USB ports are 10 gigabit. The majority of pre-built owners won't ever open their mini, but let's see how it's put together. Annoyingly, the rubber feet need to come off first. Then you need a really thin Phillips screwdriver to get the screws out. My regular one doesn't do the job. Luckily, I always come prepared. Apart from that, opening it is nice and easy and the top half of the case is made out of metal, which we almost never see. It makes this mini PC feel nice and solid and gives a more premium vibe. There's space for a 2.5 inch SATA drive for additional storage, but no screws are provided, so you have to mount it without or add some screws that fit if you want to upgrade it. I'm happy to see the CMOS battery is on this side for easy replacement. The included 1TB SSD is a Kingston, which is a nice change from the budget and slower Kingspec or Vic branded drives I've been seeing recently. Memory is also Kingston branded. Nice, good quality components. The M.2 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card is replaceable. Another four screws and you get to the cooler. Whoa, that's a pretty big heatsink and fan. Looking forward to the noise tests. Okay, so in the BIOS you've got plenty of options, but most won't be of much use to the average user. The Linux tests with Ubuntu worked fine straight off the USB. This one includes a Ryzen 5 5600U. But Chrome OS didn't have the driver for Wi-Fi and couldn't get past the setup. Windows 11 Pro is included with this Mini. In single core Cinebench, the TR5 is 2.5% faster than last year's i5 NUC. And it's 3% behind the Mini's forum UM560. In multi-core, it beats the NUC by 8% and is 4% behind the UM560. When encoding a video, it's again 8% ahead of the NUC and 2.5% behind the UM560. The included NVMe drive has good performance with a nice balance between read and write speeds. Over time, 3DMark has shown to be a very unreliable benchmark for comparing Intel with AMD graphics, but against the same brand, it does work pretty well. The TR5 is 13% behind the UM560 in DX11 and 15.5% in DX12. Even though the Raytan is in last place here, it will trade blows with a higher Intel scores thanks to much better driver and game support. Well, it's just easier to show it with a comparison. In Forza Horizon 5, the TR5 beats the i5 NUC 12 Pro by about 10%. The DX12 benchmark had the NUC ahead by 35%. Oops. In Hades, the NUC 12 Pro does have a slight lead. The UM560 is far ahead of both. In Doom Eternal, the TR5 clearly has a better frame rate than the latest gen NUC. If you like an esports title like Valorant, they all look to perform pretty similarly. In God of War, the TR5 is about 10% behind the other two. So all in all, pretty decent on the iGPU side. The TR5 is also a decent emulation box. If a Mini can run Gran Turismo 4 full speed, pretty much every PS2 game will too. 
Many Wii U games run at 60 FPS with Semu. Although Splatoon has some drops in frame rate, and Breath of the Wild is pretty slow. PS3 emulation was better than expected. I had some success with a few games running at full speed. But the more difficult to emulate ones didn't fare too well. Idle power draw was slightly up, but maximum power draw was way down. Less than half the 12th gen Intel units. The performance per watt on the 5600U is impressive. The cooling doesn't disappoint with the TR5 having the lowest maximum CPU temp. No thermal or power throttling was reported. Best of all, the unit is impressively quiet. It's the quietest and coolest combo I've tested that still has some performance behind it. The Raytan TR5 is a nice mid-range mini which runs cool, is very quiet, has good build quality and reliable branded components. What it lacks in features, it makes up for in everything else. This is an impressive first entry for Raytan into the mini PC space and nails down the essentials. A quiet mini goes a long way to providing a great computing experience and for those that don't need the fastest, you'll be very happy with this box. And if you think fan noise isn't a big deal, well, check out my ASUS PN64 review, which just might change your mind.